Good afternoon. My name is Mark Weber and welcome to this presentation. This presentation is a final project for the Music Foundations 510 course at Colorado State University. Spring semester 2017, Dr. Jacoby is the advisor and instructor. The presentation today will include a study regarding expression, emotions, and music. This study is the culmination, and I will be giving my results from my study. To begin, the rationale for this study is to highlight the educational philosophy of Francis W. Parker, who believed that music cultivates the emotions. Parker believed education is first a self-effort and that education must provide for both attention and expression. This study will focus on the expression component of Parker's philosophy through music. Music. The outcome of this study begins with this essential question. How can music educators in Colorado adapt Parker's philosophy to the state music standard number four, aesthetic evaluation of music? Specifically, the study focused on benchmark number two, section C, which is entitled, Students Will Describe Emotions in Music. First, let's begin with a brief history of Francis Wayland Parker. He was born in 1837 and died in 1902. He began teaching at an early age of 16. By age 21, he was a principal of a school, and he became the superintendent of Quincy, Massachusetts. Parker served in the American Civil War and rose to the rank of colonel. He witnessed the atrocities of this war in battle. After the war, he dedicated his life and advocated strongly for public education and its positive impact for the future of democracy. Parker would also go on to become the president of the Chicago Institute, today is known as the University of Chicago. He is considered by many as the founder or the father of the progressive movement in education. Parker would also begin and found and, found and become the principal of the Chicago Normal School. Parker is quoted as saying the primary concern for education is character. Parker considered himself more of a lecturer instead of a writer, and others on his staff would transcribe his lectures into his, into his now famous books. Those in attendance for his lectures included teachers, of course principals, and superintendents. He also studied for a time abroad in Europe and brought back the ideas of Pestalozzi, working them into his own creative philosophy of education. Parker believed that children will absorb knowledge based upon their own understanding. Past experiences and prior knowledge will link this new knowledge together, providing for a greater depth of knowledge in the child's education. Parker and his philosophy of education, most specifically his philosophy of expression. Parker's philosophy of education listed nine modes of, of expression. Music is the fourth mode of expression and, according to Parker, producing all other emotions. Parker is quoted as saying 
joy and grief, pain and pleasure, ecstasy and woe could all be expressed through music. He felt that music would step in when all other modes would fail to express themselves. Music finds expression and its voice in this, the most divine of all God's gifts to mankind. Some quotes from Parker's book, Talks on Pedagogics. As mentioned before, his books were transcribed by members of his staff from his lecture series. So these quotes come from the book Talk on pa uh, Pedagogics. The effective function of musical expression is to cultivate and enhance those emotions which influence in the highest degree the motives of man. Parker felt strongly about the emotions and how students might express their emotions through music. He also said through vocal music, the aesthetic and emotional nature is enriched. The vocal organs and the instruments of speech are then developed. Parker's point uh, provides guidance for a general music teacher attempting to coach their students in developing the student's singing voice, an instrument which they will possess for their entire lives. According to Parker, the purpose of education is to give the children the means of expressive power. Imagine what a student might be able to accomplish in speech or in writing if he or she can develop their expression and emotions in music and then deliver them in an articulate manner. Was Parker's approach effective or not? A report by Helen Goodrich from the Francis W. Parker School Yearbook of 1912 states, under the section Social Motive in Schoolwork. Fifth and sixth graders attending the upper high school choir rehearsals, Goodrich said this about their attendance. The music is beyond them from a vocal point of view, but the spiritual gain most certainly offsets this disadvantage. These students, fifth and sixth graders, may not have understood the technical knowledge of the music, but certainly the expressed emotions that they felt certainly outweighed. Goodrich continues, teachers will learn the value of socializing music for children. This socializing further enhanced the experience of music expression, which makes the students want to attend more. Goodrich and her team found out that even after, even though they did not understand what was going on in the music rehearsals, these students wanted to continue to attend. This report follows the Parker philosophy in the modes of expression. The more you attend, the more you can express. And the more you can express, the more you want to attend. So how did teachers respond? The Goodrich Report from 1912 continues, interviewing the teachers as well. They responded this way. The love of beautiful music, together with the free development of creative instinct in all the children, will be the cornerstone for this new art. These two quotes, one by teachers and um, two quotes by teachers from the Parker School illustrated the importance of allowing students to experience the emotions of music and then provide socialization of music through individual expression.
Returning to the essential question of this study, how can music, a music educator in Colorado apply Parker's philosophy to state standard music standard number four, aesthetic evaluation of music? Section C of this standard states, students describe emotions and its effects through music. So how can a music educator in Colorado enhance students' emotions through expression? First, take some practical questions, inquiry questions, to begin your lessons. Begin with questions such as these. How does music stimulate your feelings and perceptions of how you see the world around you? Two, how do expressive elements enhance a musical performance that you have been able to see? maybe online or a live performance. These questions will stimulate forward thinking in a music classroom and hopefully eventually lead to a greater depth of inquiry that students want to get in and find out how music does affect them emotionally. And it should increase the depth of knowledge of our students. The Colorado Department of Education website offers many great resources for the music educator. They offer a unit plan entitled, So You Want to Be a Rockstar, and you will see the link on my PowerPoint presentation. The authors provided a practical, well thought out unit plans for fifth graders. The unit guides students into making connections between expressive performance techniques and their own personal emotional responses to musical experiences. Learning experiences number three and four provide students opportunity to display their self-expression. Students can provide a, an appropriate body movements to demonstrate expressive terminology. Listen, also, students can listen to teacher provided examples of major and minor modes, selections from music that students will consider and examine the relationship between a musical mode and the composer's emotional intent. The summative assessment for the unit will be a student-led performance, also known as a talent show. Through examination and exploration, students will create their own unique performances. Students will then video record their performance for a post-performance assessment to evaluate their work using performance-based evaluation rubric. Educators should remember the quote by teachers from the Francis W. Parker School that stated, the love of beautiful music. Whatever your students come up with, they will be creative, and we need to embrace the love of the beautiful music in which they create. By modeling, through personal experience or live visual performances, students can identify and articulate the value in which different musical elements, movements, and or facial expressions may combine to evoke specific emotional responses. The conclusion of this study determined that music educators could use Francis Wayland Parker's philosophy effectively to stimulate emotions through expression in music. By following this philosophy, we are able to agree with the mission statement of the Francis W. Parker School in Chicago. 
they state that their mission is to cultivate in their students qualities of character and citizenship that can guide them through life as a resourceful, thoughtful, and active participants in a democratic society. May current and future music educators of Colorado and across the United States embrace the philosophy of Francis W. Parker and continue to provide high quality music education by expressing emotions through music. Finally, the last Parker quote sums up the entire Music of Expressions study. The Parker quote is everything to help and nothing to hinder. Thank you.